Super Heavyweight Final. Representing Progress Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Anderson Muniz. And representing Fratres Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Eric Muniz. Eric and Anderson Muniz here in the Super Heavyweight Final of the 2024 Worlds. Anderson pulls guard. Eric receives two. your brother not going to let you get away with anything. <laughs> Eric looks at the score and says, no, -uh, those were my points. Eric really trying to break the script on Anderson Muniz. Love seeing matchups like this between brothers. Doesn't happen all the time, but who knows you better than your brother, right? And so we see a very interesting look at a matchup here. I'm very excited to see how this one goes. Eric very aggressively trying to create openings. You see him breaking grips pretty fiercely against Anderson. Referee gives up on that. <laughs> on Anderson breaks a grip so far Anderson has been doing a consistent effort of bringing the lapel or my excuse me the lasso over the top to stifle the movement of Eric Muniz and Eric is using his foot to break off grips Eric Muniz three-time black belt world champion Anderson going for his first now sweeps now in top position. Now Anderson kicking out, avoiding that soup situation back in the neutral. for world title number four in this match. In the open class final later today against Jansen Gomez. Eric able to spin underneath. Doesn't quite have firm control over the leg. But looking to utilize the spider guard grip. We see him do this a lot. He's able to get Anderson off balance a little bit. He can use that to sweep as we see right here. Points for Eric Muniz. Takes the lead in this super heavyweight final here at the 2024 Worlds. Anderson threatened to angle on a knee bar right there momentarily. And Eric looks to be threatening a toe hold. that foot to create a little bit bigger of an angle. 
Now all the way underneath. Now Anderson might have a look. Anderson once again pulling guard. And back in this position, Danny, where the knee is caught in the middle, is something Hodger Gracie do a, ver a very good job of is capturing that knee in the middle. You can utilize tilt sweeps either way, as well as arm drags once you land in that spot. Eric Muniz breaks up in the position, now passing around the outside. The mini both Eric and Anderson are so good at using their length to stretch people out from the bottom position, create off balances, and like you said, create positions like that where they're trapping inside the closed guard. Eric looks like he may have been looking for a toe hold, grabbing the toes of Anderson. <laughs> Definitely brutal going for a toe hold on your brother's hurt feet. That, that's how that's how much the IBJJF World Championship means. And he sits oh, he's back, going he's going for it. for it. That looks like it could be tight. Oh, but Anderson returning the favor. Eric forced to roll. And still applying the pressure. Eric was awarded an advantage for that toe hold. As well as Anderson. Gonna reset them back in the middle here in this 50-50 position. Four minutes to go in this super heavyweight world championship final. Eric Muniz, we will also see in the final match of the tournament. Where he is slated to go against Jansen Gomez. Eric leading by one advantage. Saw that advantage awarded after a recent toehold attack. Puts him up with six, with four minutes remaining, six minutes into this match. Right. Anderson awarded an advantage for his toehold attack as well. So we're all tied up. Driving his left knee down towards the mat. Distance. As soon as Anderson brought both hands to break that grip, he left an opening oh, to the Eric outside. Trying to take the back as Anderson turns away. One hook. Anderson not giving up that left hook. But Eric was looking for an armbar momentarily. Eric now in the lead by one advantage. Anderson trying to dig that arm through and look for this reverse double under. Keeping that right knee pressed heavy. You see Eric even grabbing with his left hand. If Anderson's able, able to get his right hip in front. Oh, but he sits for a knee bar. Oh, and this could be trouble. Anderson has a tight knee bar. And you can see, oh, and oh, that's it. Wow. Anderson Mooney's submits his brother. What a battle between the Mooney's brothers here.
in the super heavyweight final. And Anderson Muniz wins his first world title. Anderson Muniz gets the submission, wins his first black belt world title, defeating three-time world champion Eric Muniz. Wow. And what a moment. I'm sure it must come a little bittersweet taking the world championship opportunity from your brother, but at the same time, what an amazing moment these two get to share. That was a fantastic fight. Anderson Muniz jumps on that knee bar, gets the finish over Eric. Anderson Muniz now a 2024 Penn and world champion. Super heavyweight champion is Anderson Muniz. Your 2024 super heavyweight champion at the, at the Worlds, Anderson Muniz. What a performance. Back and forth battle between the Mooney's brothers.